There we go. I think we're all set. Yeah, nice. Da -da 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 -da. Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, hopefully this should work, because, uh, uh, yeah, last episode, the uh, my phone actually cut off. But uh, how you guys doing today? Uh, Fugmon14 here. Uh, let's see, so let's load our Soldier Boy game console. Right here, should be, right? Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, and we were just about to finish off Bastion. Uh, I think I got him, yeah, because I, I used Penguin Soldier. Well, he used Heavy Storm, that's right. Uh, but what was I doing? Yeah, I was trying to go for the most damage I can here. So let me... Hang on, guys. Uh, let me do some math here. So that'll be 18. Can get him down to... Oh, 350. And then... And do I have any power-ups? No, okay, okay. So what we want to do is, uh, like I said, most damage as possible because it calculates total damage. So we want to do Penguin Soldier. Yeah. Ah, not bad, Flood. Not bad, Mike. <laughs> yeah, we got you, Bastion. But man, <laughs> we had a pretty epic duel against this guy. Jeez. But yeah, I finally finished my tacos and uh, they turned out pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so definitely glad I went with that idea to, to, to do this episode first because it took me about like is my deck flawed? Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it actually took me a while to cook everything, so... Yep, and then this was just kind of uploading in the meantime, and then after that I felt so good, I took a nap, and when I woke up... Like, I just woke up, and it's about 7 o'clock. Uh, when I woke up, the video was uploaded, so awesome. Definitely good to do it that way. I lost. We made good rivals, Flood. Nice, okay, so we beat Bastion. Uh, take a look around. Yeah, I do want to buy some new packs just to mix up the deck. Uh, trap collection. Yeah, these are only a hundred, so I'm gonna get like six because we don't. We actually don't have too many traps in our deck. I'll buy like I'll buy like four of spell collection two, and I'll buy mm, five of spell collection one. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I do still want that nimble Momonga, but you know what? We're not gonna buy it this time. We're not gonna. Now we're not gonna. We'll buy one of this and one of this, and I think that'll do it. That'll do it. We'll we'll, we'll pass on the Mamonga this time. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully we get some good stuff. Uh, D spell. Interesting. Not too much there. Summon Skull Pack. Uh, Stain Storm. Mm, it's okay. Now what do we get here? Shield Crash. Ooh, Nobleman of Extermination. Okay, I can add another one of those. Ooh, Rush Recklessly, I like. Card Destruction, that's good. Swords of Revealing Light! Hell yeah! Another Scapegoat, and Scapegoat's not limited, so Nobleman of Cross Out! Okay, we definitely got some good stuff there. Alright, what else, what else, what else? Back to Square One's actually pretty good, believe it or not. Another Dark Factory. That Heavy Storm! Oh, sweet, dude. Definitely gonna save this. Yeah, because we got Heavy Storm and Swords. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're getting some good stuff. Oh, Compulse? Compulse Evacuation Device? I like Compulse. So that's good. Uh, any other thing good for the trap? Secret Barrel is actually pretty good, yeah. It can do some massive damage, you know, depending on the uh, board state of the, du of the duel, so... Oh, another Jar of Greed. Okay, I'll take it. Another Jar of Greed. Okay, yeah, so we got some pretty good stuff there. Yeah, where is it? Uh, if we go over, yeah, Swords. Card Destruction. Man, Cross Out. Oh, all this stuff's good. Yeah, Heavy Storm. Hell yeah. Yeah. And if you don't know what it does, yep, destroys all spells and traps on the field. That is good stuff. All right, all right. Yeah, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. No, no, thank you. I... I got more than what I, enough, so. Uh, now, can I save here? Oh, I can, good, okay. Apparently I scheduled another duel via mail here. But yeah, let's see if we can edit my deck real quick. I know I already got 78 cards in, but uh, tell you what, let's just go to the spells real quick. And I'll add, uh, I'll add Jar of Greed, Swords, and uh, Heavy Storm for sure. Heavy Storm's gonna be so helpful because the AI has so many uh, spells and trap cards, you know, so. But yeah, I'll worry about cleaning up the deck later, but uh, you know what, let's add a third scapegoat too, why not? Card Destruction, and um, I 
think, did I, did I get any other good spells? I think I did, but I don't want to take too long here, so. Yeah, we'll go here, and we'll go down to, uh, yeah, draw greed. Draw greed, for sure. Yeah, there we go, draw greed. Okay, yeah, so we'll just do a quick edit, and, uh, in between the episodes, I'll kind of filter some cards out, yeah. I, um, I've decided that as far as the deck editing goes, I'll try to make it as quick as possible. That way I don't bore you guys, you know, too much with, uh, whatever's going on. Oh, oh, and I need to save. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, definitely want to save the deck editing. Yeah, like, I've decided, yeah, the deck editing, I'm going to try to do that more in between episodes. So, anyway, today I requested a duel uh, with Jaden via mail, so let's do it. Yeah, you're here. I knew you wouldn't want to miss a duel. Times of west wasting. Flood, get your game on. <laughs> All right, let's do it, Jaden. Yeah, and like I said, uh, I've never played this game before, so I really don't know how the how the system works. Like, I'm not sure if um, I really need to duel more people via mail or not. Oh, it looks like we may have got scapegoat first turn. I'm getting prompted for a quick play. Yeah, we did, sweet. Okay, so I'll set scapegoat. Ooh, morphing jar. Well, and I do have plenty of, you know what? Okay, so I'm gonna set morphing jar. I'm going to play Terraform. I know this is risky, because the AI could have Heavy Storm. Uh, I'll search Umiruka. And uh, go ahead and activate it. Yeah. Yeah, I know this is risky, but um, it could pay off, honestly. So, Umiruka. Uh, set this. And then I'll set Good Goblin Housekeeping. Alright, I'm all in, Jaden. I'm all in. Your turn, buddy. Your turn. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Get your game on. My turn, so I draw. All right. Do 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 do. Uh, burst standard tricks. Okay, I'm fine with that. Do do. Skyscraper. Oh, so he got rid of our field spill. That's okay. All right. Da -na, da -da -da -da. Well, he didn't heavy storm us, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, that way we only lose one card, but we draw five more. But he loses four cards. So really he only gained one card, but we gained five. So that's awesome. All right, so he's probably going to set a bunch of traps at this point. Uh, main fade. Oh, no traps. Okay. I'm good with that. Definitely, definitely. Definitely. Uh, just for fun, let's see what uh, Jaden had in his hand here. Uh, oh, Luster Dragon, good, that's Magic Jammer, okay, good, yeah, oh, wait, he had, he had Polly and Avion, and he had Mercenatrix on the field, but he didn't summon, he didn't summon his favorite card the first turn? Oh, bro, well, we kind of got, well, either way, we had Piglin Soldier, but still, like, I'm kind of surprised he didn't, okay, so it looks like all we have here is Nimble Mamonga, uh, let's play Good Goblin Housekeeping, and see if we can draw a better card. Uh, no, I will not chain. So, let's see. So, select one card in the hand to return. What did we draw? Oh, we drew the other Nimble Momonga. Well, the good thing about good Goblin Housekeeping is that's actually going to put that at the bottom of the deck. So, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I guess I'll just set. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll end my turn, Jaden. You got me. You got me, bro. I don't have much. Uh, nope, I'll end my turn. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have Smashing Ground and then attacked, but... Nah, I, I think we'll play it safe for now. Uh, Sparkman in attack mode. Elemental Hero Sparkman. Statics... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got problems now. Well, no, no, no. We have Penguin Soldier. This is why we say Penguin Soldier. Plus, we're going to get another Nibble Momonga, so we're safe. We're safe this turn. So, yeah. Yeah, I wish I had all three in the deck. That way I'd get two more here, but, you know, that's okay. Yes, I will. I will set. All right. Yep. Thanks for protecting me, Nimble Momonga. You help my, you help protect my life points. Because, man, that thing has how much? Right now, with United We Stand, it has, uh... Oh, Sinister Sharpman. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah, she's all the way up to 2,800. Holy smokes. And, like I said, I could Smashing Ground, but, you know, here, Penguin Soldier is just as good. Because by returning it to his hand, we're going to break up the equip. And I can stall for a bit, because I have two copies of Scapegoat, so... Not too worried, not too worried yet. Alright, what time are we at? We are already at ten minutes, man. 
Time flies. Oh man, I'm loving this new LP though. So glad uh, my friend recommended this to me. Clay Man in attack mode. Go Clay Clubber. <laughs> Wasn't that, I forget Clayman's exact attack name in the game, in, in, in the show, but I think that was it. In like, you know, Spark Man, Spark Flash, or something like that. Static Shock Wave, something like that, yeah. Ah, uh, it was so cool. Alright, so yeah, we'll send uh, Spark Man and um, Mercenatrix back. But I do want to destroy Clayman if I can here with the monster, because, uh... Yeah, he has Sparkman in hand, and if he all he needs is polymerization, uh, and he hey he might even have polymerization and he's just not playing it right now. Uh, let's see, let's ooh, okay, you, uh, I know he has, but that's the problem too. Is he also has skyscraper? Well, you know what? Like I said, I want to get rid of it, so I'm in a giant true nade here. I know it's only one face down, but yeah, I want to just make sure. You know, this attack goes through with Harpy's brother. I just want to make sure, you know, so. We'll set scapegoat. Yeah, and then we will battle. Yeah, because, like like we said, you know, he has Spark Man. Like, like, you know, like I said in other episodes, definitely get rid of his materials if you can, you know. Uh, so, yeah, and just stay aggressive because you don't want to just defend, defend, defend because then, you know, he'll, he'll eventually fuse on you. And then, then you might be screwed. You might not be able to get past that. Yep, Skyscraper's back on. Probably gonna play uh, Sparkman, I'd imagine. Yeah, okay. Yep, makes sense, makes sense. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Yep. Da -da -da -da. So, it'd be pretty helpful if we could draw Heavy Storm here. That way we can stop him from keeping on uh, doing this. You know, the... Uh, the uh, ch -ch 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 the uh, skyscraper strategy, uh, but he doesn't get a thousand points during our turn. So oh, poison draw frog, nice. Uh, well, in order to use its effect, I need it to be face up. So believe it or not, I'm actually gonna summon this in attack mode and take the damage. I know that sucks and it seems kind of dumb, but we have 9,000 life points and really I just want the extra card. That way, you know, we have a chance because I don't have many good monsters in my hand right now. But that way, you know, we get another card and we get another chance to, uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and activate Skate. No, 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 he's gonna attack with Bersinatrix. Okay, good. He attacked with the weak one first, so that's good. I'm not gonna play Scapegoat in that case. Yeah, 1100, not bad. And I have to watch the prop here. Chain? No, yes, I want to draw my card. I paid attention this time. Yeah, direct attack. I don't think so, Jaden. Reveal my face down card. Yeah. <laughs> Go, scapegoat. Oh, I love scapegoat so much. Protect my life points. Thank you, scapegoat. <laughs> You're up, and he didn't have Magic Jammer, so that's good. That's good. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, Giant Rat. Okay, okay, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, let's have Giant Rat attack uh, Bersinatrix. Oh, we'll try. He probably has like Negate Attack or Mirror Force or something, but we'll try. We'll try to attack Bersinatrix here. Attack, Giant Rat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Negate Attack. Okay, okay. It wasn't Mirror Force, so that's good. So we'll still be able to get the effect of Giant Rat. Uh, Autonomous Action, what does he have in his graveyard? Just Clayman and Avion, okay, okay. Well, if he throws something better in his graveyard, I'll try to steal whatever he has. Because uh, like I said, right now we have the life points to afford to try. So Cyber Jar in attack position, Oh darn. Man, I kind of wish you would have set that, bro. Because I could go for a, a Cyber Jar effect. Yeah, man, we definitely need to try to get that card, because Cyber Jar is just too good, man. Too good. Uh, Giant Rat, will you special summon? Yes. If nothing else, I have Exile Force on the deck. Yeah, Exile Force. Yeah. And actually, he put Bersinatrix in defense, right? You're up. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Snatch Steel. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I'm going to set Sinister Serpent, first of all. Uh, but, oh, yeah, yeah, Bersinatrix has... 800 defense. Okay, so I know this is risky, guys, but I'm gonna try to attack Bersinatrix and then in main phase two use the effect of Exile Force. Uh uh uh, is it Mirror Force? Is it, it, it uh, uh, wait, a hero emerges? A hero emerges! 
Oh, that's right. He did have this card in season one. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the effect of Hero Emerges does, I'll show you here. So, uh, start. Yeah, so when you declare an attack, randomly choose a card. If it's a monster card, Jaden gets a special summon it. But if not, send it to the graveyard. And thank God, the card that got picked was Miracle Fusion. Oh, oh man. So... And Miracle Fusion, you can use th stuff from the the field or the graveyard, so that worked out perfectly. Okay, main phase two, yeah, because we have we've sent materials, we've sent like Sparkman, Clayman, Bersinatrix, and Avion all to his graveyard, so that couldn't have gone any better, honestly. That 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 was great, that was fantastic. Oh man, Jaden. Okay, Avion, that's okay. I'm okay with that. What's he good? Okay, so he went for Serpent. So that's good. I can just kind of recycle Serpent a little bit. Scapegoat, protect me! Scapegoat's putting in work. All right, all right. Any face downs? No face downs. Okay, Jaden, okay. So we'll take back Sinister Serpent. No. Probably me for Scapegoat. Nope, don't chain. Yes. There we go. Okay, we finally got Maiden of the Aqua. Now, he can't really get over Maiden of the Aqua, uh, because, um, yeah, it has 2,000 defense and 700 attack. Uh, but I kind of want to, like I said, I know he doesn't have anything better in his graveyard, but I kind of want to just punish him a little bit. So believe it or not, I know it seems like kind of like a waste, but uh, I'm going to use Autonomous Action Unit and take his Luster Dragon, and that way I can uh, destroy his uh, uh, Avion, because I don't have a powerful monster this turn. Uh, oh, actually, I just thought of something I could do. I'm going to Snatch Steel Avion, actually. And I haven't summoned, right? Yeah, so now, okay, okay. I'm going to sacrifice your Avion and your Luster Dragon, Jaden. Now I summon Lafaya Dragon, Daedalus. Ah, oh, sweet. And this is one of the best cards in our uh, Flood deck. So, uh, after this battle, uh, check this out. Check out this guy's effect. Uh, oh, no, I need to go to details. Yeah, there we go. Send Umi on your side of the field to the graveyard to destroy all cards on the field except this card. Man, I, that's such a good effect. So, yeah, that's definitely why I want more, uh, two more copies of a Legendary Ocean, if possible. But, uh... You know, for now, we'll roll. Wait, Jinzo? Oh, okay. Well, he has Jinzo in the hand. That's good to know. Oh, and we drew Goblet Perfect because he doesn't have any traps or anything. Perfect. This is going so well. So well. Thank you, Scapegoat, for protecting me. We hung in there, and it looks like we're making a comeback. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We're playing that winning music. Oh, yeah. Daedalus Attack Storm Surge. <laughs> what 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 should his effect name be? Uh, title destruction. Oh man, that sounds cool. Tidal destruction. All right, one face down. I see that. I see that. Oh oh oh. Okay. Finally got Umi Ruka. Let's try to get rid of a skyscraper. Good good. Okay. So I'm not gonna summon anything else. I'm just gonna try to attack. Is it Mirror Force? Yeah uh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah yeah. I I knew it. I knew it, Jaden. I knew it, Jaden. Predictable, predictable. But you know what? That's okay. Main phase two, I'm gonna set uh, Sinister Serpent. Predictable, Jaden. Very predictable. All right. Let's see what you got, Jay. Uh, card up. Interesting. Okay. That kind of sucks. I actually liked my hand, but. All right. Wing Karibo with attack mode. Oh, he's gonna take out my god. Oh, sorry, Flood. My Wing Karibo is gonna attack god. Oh man, interesting. Uh, I wonder if he has transcendent wings in this deck. You know, because Wing Karibo level 10 is actually pretty good, honestly. Uh, so he only has 400 life points. Uh, let's see if he has Torrential Tribute. No, okay. Well, Sinister Serpent will actually win us the duel here. Hmm, and I know he already played Mirror Force. Yeah, okay, well, I don't want to risk, like, Torrential Tribute. I know I could go for Overkill, but let's just 
see. Yeah, oh, is it negate attack? What is it? What is it? Magic cylinder. Okay, okay. So you know, I played it completely safe there. Uh, he had magic cylinder, so I guess I could have won this turn, but that's okay. Uh, what's this? Uh, right. What does Aoi do? I forget. Ooh, look at your opponent's hand. Select one card. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna tribute Sinister Serpent, and you try to use that. Uh, in the meantime, I will set Maiden of the Aqua. All right, I end my turn. Now, can we activate this in his... Oh, good. We can activate it right away in his draw phase. Sweet. All right, now I activate Spiritual Water Art. Oi. Now, let's see what you're working with, Jaden. Yeah. We... Oh, he does have Wing Rainbow level 10. Oh, and he just drew Spear Dragon. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, okay. Hey, asked. We we asked, and now it's answered. He has Transcended Wings and uh, Wing Rainbow level 10. Good to know. Good to know. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. That's that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, Wing Karibo level 10 is actually a pretty powerful monster. Uh, yes. And we just drew Giga Gaga Gigo. Nice. All right. So we'll sacrifice this to summon Giga Gaga Gigo. <laughs> and it's funny. I remember this one episode. Jaden had to do the duel against this guy with a bunch of quiz panels in his deck, and one of them was a tongue twister. And it just, the tongue twister was like, uh, Gaga Gigo, Giga Gaga Gigo, Giga Giga, and then the, the two tribute one, like Giga Giga Gaga Gigo Gigo, or something. Like, I can't even do it myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, that, was pretty, that was a pretty interesting duel. I wonder if that character is in this game, the guy who, who has the uh, quiz panel deck. I, I don't even remember his name, but I vividly remember that episode. Uh, oh, shucks, I lost. Yeah, yeah, great duel, buddy. For sure, for sure, that was fun. Okay, we have another scheduled duel at the Volcano, but uh, that was a pretty long duel. So, what time are we at? Yeah, 22 minutes. Um, okay, tell you guys what. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do what I did last uh, earlier today. And, you know, just record a really long episode and then, uh, you know, take care of some stuff here at the house, you know, while it uploads. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to I'm going to start this duel, you know, for a few minutes um, before, before that. I just remembered uh, I also want to edit the deck again because I forgot that we got two other really good spells, the Nobleman cards. We got Nobleman of Extermination, you know, from that recent haul, and we also got Nobleman of Cross Out, and those are both pretty good. So, uh, Cross Out removes face-down monsters from play, and also if you have their flip effects, it removes copies of them. Uh, that's really good. Uh, also, um, uh, Nobleman of uh, Extermination where are these guys? Where are my noblemen? Oh, Rush Recklessly is also... Yeah, I also love Rush Recklessly, so I'm going to put that in the deck for sure. Uh, where are these guys? Oh, there we go. Okay. And it is semi-limited. Yeah, cross out. But Extermination does... Uh, what is... You have uh, face down spells or traps. And if it's a trap, yeah. But yeah, these are both really good. And as you guys have seen, you know, spell and trap removal is pretty good. Like I said, I'll clean it up uh, off screen. But uh, yeah... So we'll save that, and let's do this duel I sent for mail well, against Chemley. Near Crater. <sighs> Every time, Chemley. Let me catch my breath. Okay, buddy. All right, now Chemley, despite despite all that, Chemley is no joke. So, uh, yeah, he, he's he's the, one of the few people who's defeated us so far. So let's see. Uh, let's try to play our cards right. Game on. Get your game on. Come on. You got to play your cards right. Yeah. All right, so first turn. I think first turn, I'll actually set Mamonga. And that'll be all. I got Messenger of Peace in case things go sour. I'm going to Subway with grilled cheese sandwiches. Licious. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, okay. And believe it or not, that card was his... Uh... <laughs> You guys remember last episode, I was talking about the card crushes? Well, yeah, White Magician Pikiru's was uh, Bastion's. And I remember Dion Kiso the Cure Master was actually uh, Chumley's. And it's so weird. I never even knew that card was a female card until until that episode. It was a weird one. It was a weird... <laughs> All right, let's go with Nemo Momonga in attack mode. No traps? Okay, well, 
like I said, we'll just we'll just keep playing cautious, you know. Attack first. Maybe he wastes his mirror force or whatever. Oh! Perfect. Perfect. Okay, hey, Chumley, that's fine with me, because now I don't have to worry about Mirror Force the rest of the duel. So we'll go to Harpy's Brother, and I might Card Destruction here. Maybe next turn. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I might use Card Destruction. I don't know. Uh, Poison Things. Uh, interesting. So that's a continuous, and uh, each time a Beast-type monster does damage, does 500 more, so watch out for that. Ooh, Malevolent Nuzzler. Okay, I'm actually gonna equip this because some of his cards have high defense points, like a uh, Death Koala. And I'm gonna attack his face down, of course. But um, uh, I think I'll set Smashing Ground, and then we'll card destruction for three cards. Yeah, let's see, let's see if we get a, a monster. Yeah, card destruction. Okay, so we did get Maiden of the Aqua. That's good. And we got Scapegoat. You know what, I'm good with this. Okay, so we'll set that. Set Jar of Greed, and I won't set Scapegoat because I have two monsters, but if things go sour, I will play the, the goats. Alright, attack his face down. Ah! Man, I'm like, I'm playing so good, Chemley. I know your deck pretty well, buddy. Yeah, and because we went all in, we only took 400, and we got to destroy it since I put Nuzzler. Perfect, man, perfect. Alright, well, we gave him some new cards, so let's see if he does anything. Okay, he has a face down, but like I said, I don't have to worry about Mirror Force, because he wasted it early. You know, that's kind of a waste in my eye, like, Mirror Force for only one card, and it was Nimble Mom that's, that's, you know, that's not very smart by the AI. That's almost some, uh, Cyrus, oh, oh, Big Koala, oh, well, uh, yeah, I'll change Jar of Greed, whoa, um, what are we gonna do about that, uh, uh, oh, right, I have Smashing Ground. Whew, I forgot I set this before card <laughs> Oh, thank, thank God, okay. Whew, okay, we made it out of that pinch. Um, I think I'll go with another Harpy's Brother in attack mode, and then I'll actually flip up Maiden of the Aqua. Yeah, and then um, we're going to have Maiden of the Aqua take out Hain Hain, because it doesn't seem like... Uh, you know, Chumley has anything better here. And like I said, high defense monsters, so just in case, we'll attack with Harpy's brother, the strong one. And then the other one, okay, it was only a thousand, but still, you know, I just I just want to make sure, you know, I clear his field, so. Yeah, we'll go with the other Harpy's brother. Nice. All right. And he has only one card in his hand, so, whew, man, good thing we have that smashing ground. All right, one face down, one face down. Alright, uh, we have Amphibious Bug Roth, MK3. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. And I think we can attack directly here, right? Yes! Yeah, because uh, Maiden of the Aqua treats the field as Umi, so we can pass right over your monsters and attack directly. Okay, I'm actually going to take a risk here. I know what I just said, but Harvey's Brother. Nice! Just enough. That was Desk Kangaroo. And that's good. We got rid of a fusion piece. This is going well. This duel is going real well. Going real well. Looking good. Looking real good. All right. Made of the Aqua attack. I probably should have switched her to defense. But you know what? I should have stayed in bed. This is not licious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I probably should have switched her to defense. But you know what? Chumley's not really doing much here. He's just kind of setting and passing. So, all right. Let's check the damage for maximum. So, okay. Um... Well, I could 1,500. Okay, if I attack directly with this, that gets him down to 1,300. And then I can go for the overkill with Harpy's brother. Uh, but let's summon Mama Grizzly, just in case. Uh, and I'll try to attack with Harpy's brother, the, the weak one. Because if this works, we can get some good overkill damage. Let's see what you got. Hyena, oh, he's going to stall us. Okay, okay. All right, Hyena, if you don't know... He gets to summon as many copies of, of Hyena from his deck. Oh, only one? Well, that's good. Uh, Mama Grizzly. Attack. Is he going to get another one? Or no? Oh, I should have stayed in bed. Is he going to get another one? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so he kind of stalled us, um, but it's okay. We can still win. Uh, and I will not attack directly. No. Yeah, that way we can get this out of the way. Yep, okay. 
And then we can go with, uh, right, 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 it's mandatory. Then we can go with Maiden of the Aqua. And we're right at about 30 minutes, so this is perfect. Uh, we can end the duel. Go, Harpy's Brother, direct attack, overkill damage, wind tunnel! Totally bogus! All right, and we win. How many points? 662. Man, that's a lot of DP. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat a grilled cheese to cheer myself up. All right, we got you, Chemley. We got you. Next Friday is the dorm switch exam. Okay. The theme uh, will be battle. You must defeat many monsters and deal. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Do you know about time duels? The cards are placed in advance, and you have to win the duel. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am, actually. So I used to play this game called Yu-Gi-Oh! GX uh, two, 2007, and they actually had, like, uh, well, they weren't called time duels, but they were called, like, challenge duels. And basically it would say, like, win in one turn, and the field would already be set up. Yeah, okay. So um, maybe next episode... We'll, do, we'll try to do some time duels, but I have another duel via mail, so um, like I said, in between uh, the uh, videos, I'm going to edit the deck and kind of filter some stuff out, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye bye Ah, such a fun game. Such a fun LP. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot to this game, too, with the uh, time duels, the, uh, yeah, and what do you say? The theme of the exam will be battle. There's a dorm exam. That, yeah, this, this game's interesting. This game's interesting. Man. ba -da. Da -da. Da -da. Do, 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 do.